But first, Jay, there's some more news on this whole baseball, what's become a saga yeah, going on. Yeah, that's exactly right, Betsy. The Mike Clevenger, Zach Plezak drama has taken another turn as the Indians reinstated both players from the restricted list just a short while ago. And then they optioned both to the alternate training site, which is in Lake County. Remember, there's no minor league baseball this year, so they're just relegated to Lake County to work out, but they can't play games. Let's bring in three news sports anchor Nick Camino right now to tell us more about this. Nick, what do you make of the move? What do you think? Hey, Jay, what did Betsy call it? A, a, a saga? I call it a soap opera. That's what this has been. I think we got to cut to it very quickly here. This is definitely a punishment of sorts. I know that there were some people that were feeling like this was just a formality, that these guys had to rejoin the club, but this is definitely a punishment of sorts. Little background info for you. Plesak and Clevenger both actually made the trip to Detroit yesterday, and they met with the team. They held kind of a forum, an in-depth team meeting, but ultimately, the Indians front office felt like these guys need to go to the minor leagues. And we know this year, as you said, Lake County is one of their training sites. Jay, if these guys were in the good graces of their team or with the front office, they would be back on the active roster with the Indians getting ready in Detroit. Let's not forget, these are two of their big horses in that starting rotation. That starting rotation that is such a big part of what this Indians team is going to need to do well in order for them to go as far as they want to go. But this is definitely needs to be viewed as these two guys, in my opinion, are in the doghouse right now. And the Indians are trying to send a message to them. And, you know, the whole thing, Jay, about Police Act coming out with that video where he was blaming the media and things like that, I thought the media had covered it very fairly. I don't think anybody took shots. But let's look at what his teammate Adam Pletko had to say about it. I mean, I think the Indians' teammates were as hard as these guys on anybody. As well, they should be. Obviously, there was a trust issue. And you're not just talking about breaking curfew or staying out late and getting in trouble that way. Their actions, really, no other way to say it, put all of their other teammates at risk. Uh, and and they, didn't do, uh, they didn't get the night out on the town that, that Mike and, and Zach both were able to enjoy. I, I agree with you. Um, I think this is a punishment. Look, this is 40% of the best starting rotation in Major League Baseball. And I, I bring that up, Nick, because we're a third of the way through the season, and right now the Indians are in the eighth and final playoff spot. I don't think they can afford to be without these two guys for very long. My guess here is that this lasts a week, maybe. I can't imagine that the Indians are going to keep them off of the major league roster and unable to participate and help this team try to push for the playoffs for much longer than a week. But really, we have no indication how long this could go. Yeah, we don't. Um, you know, to your point, I do think that these these two guys are, are essential uh, to this club. But the fact that they're not with the club in Detroit anymore just tells us you know, the message that was trying to be sent to them. But you're right. If the Indians want to get to ultimately where they want to go, you're going to need these two guys to be a big part of that in the rotation. Yeah. Um, but right now, those guys aren't there. So. We'll see kind of what happens here. I, I do think this was a, a strong message from the organization and their, and the te and their teammates. Absolutely. And I, and I think Zach, Zach's video, I know it was well-intended. It missed the mark. And I'm sure that that's been discussed internally with the team as well. Nick Camino, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Yeah.